Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply mixed numbers and fractions. We have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have three and one fourth times two fifths. The steps that we're going to take to solve these problems are at the top of the screen. So we wanna change any mixed numbers to improper fractions first. That way we have a top and a bottom, a numerator and denominator, and then we can multiply straight across. So we do that by starting at the bottom and working our way up. So we multiply and then add. So four times three is 12 plus one is 13. We keep our denominator of four the same. So 13 fourths is equivalent to three and one fourth. We didn't change the value of the problem at all. We just changed to an improper fraction. Now we can bring two fifths down and we have a multiplying fractions problem here. So we can multiply straight across. But before multiplying straight across, you can always check to see if you can use cancellation. You can think of this as simplifying the problem before you multiply. It helps us get easier numbers to work with and um, also cuts down on any simplifying at the end of the problem. So generally speaking, it makes the problem simpler to work through. And in the case of number one, we can use cancellation. So you need to look for common factors between the numerators and denominators. So four and two have a common factor of two, a greatest common factor of two. So let's divide four and two by two. Four divided by two is two. Two divided by two is one. So let me rewrite the problem. We have 13 over two times one over five. 13 and five do not share any common factors other than one, so we cannot use uh, cross cancellation with the 13 and the five. So now we can multiply straight across. 13 times one is 13, two times five is 10. So we end up with an improper fraction here, so let's change this back to a mixed number for our final answer. So we do that by doing the numerator 13 divided by 10. So how many whole groups of 10 out of 13? Well, one. And we have a remainder of three. So that's the numerator of our fractional part. And we keep the denominator of 10 the same. Always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part of a mixed number. But in the case of number one, 3 tenths is simplified, so our final answer is one and three tenths. I do wanna show you before we move to number two, let me rewrite um, the problem below here. So we had 13 over four times two over five. So if you do not use cross cancellation, that's fine. You'll get to the same answer. So 13 times two is 26. 4 times 5 is 20, and then we would do 26 divided by 20 to get to a mixed number. So how many whole groups of 20 out of 26? 1, with the remainder of 6, keep the denominator of 20 the same. Now we can simplify the fractional part because we have a greatest common factor of 2 between 6 and 20, so divide each by 2 and we end up with one and three tenths. So same answer, just uh, we had to simplify at the end there instead of using cancellation and simplifying the problem before we multiplied. So on to number two, where we have five and two thirds times three sevenths. So again, first thing we need to do, change any mixed numbers to improper fractions. So we'll start at the bottom, work our way up, multiply and add. So three times five is 15 plus two is 17. Keep the denominator of three the same. Times three sevenths. Now we can look to see if we can use any cross cancellation here. And 17 and seven, greatest common factor is one, so we cannot use any 
there, but we have a three and a three. So greatest common factor is three. We can divide each by three. So three divided by three is one, and three divided by three is one. So we have this problem here, and we can multiply straight across. 17 times one is 17, and one times seven is seven. So we end up with an improper fraction, which we want to change back to a mixed number. So we need to do the numerator, 17 divided by seven. How many whole groups of seven out of 17? Two, that gets us to 14. So we have a remainder of three and keep the denominator of seven the same. Always look to see if you can simplify uh, the fractional part of a mixed number any further, but 3 sevenths is in simplest form, so we are done here. The answer is 2 and 3 sevenths. So there you have it. There's how you multiply mixed numbers and fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.